In the name of Allah, hello guys, how are you? The speaker is Mr. Ayad, English teacher at Arashid University College in the Biology Department and Analysis Department. Today I am going to speak about the question forms. We can use some forms to ask about something. Okay, all these in the unit four. The first one or the first point is we can use subject question with subject question with no auxiliary verb. Pay attention, no auxiliary verb. For example, who broke the window? Look, there is no auxiliary verb in the sentence. What happens at the end of the book? What happens at the end of the book? Here, there is no auxiliary verb. Okay? Number two, we can use the question with preposition at the end. Be attention. Question, we can use one of, w, uh, one of the WH question and in the end, there is a preposition. For example, who is your letter form? Who is your letter form? What are you talking about? Number three, we can use the question word plus noun. A plus adjective or adverb. For example, what sort of music do you like? What sort of music do you like? Or, how big they are new house? How big they are new house? Number four, we can use other ways, we can use other ways for asking why. Pay attention, maybe we use what, but we mean why. Okay? For example, what did you do that for? What did you do that for? Okay? Now, the use of what and which. The use of what and which. We can use, we can use what and which with noun to make a question. Pay attention. We can use what and which. A plus noun to make a question. For example, what size shoes do you take? What size shoes do you take? Another subject, sometimes there is no difference between what and which. Sometimes there is no difference between what and which. For example, what? We can say also which. Which or what is the biggest city in your country? Which or what is the biggest city in your country? The third one we can use which when the speaker when the speaker has limited choices in his mind. He has limited choices in his mind. For example, there is a blue one and red one. Which do you want? There is a blue one and red one. Which one do you want? For example, he want to buy something from the shop, but there is just two things in his mind or two colors in his mind. The shop assistant asks him, there is a blue one and red one. Which do you want? For example, okay. Number four, we use what? We use what? Or we can use what? When the speaker is nothing for limited number of choice. When we can use what? When there is nothing of limited numbers of choice. Here in his mind there is nothing to choose. So we can use this subject or this way. For example, for example, what car do you drive? What car do you drive? The speaker doesn't have any idea about the kind of car that we or his friend or his, uh, his, uh, the, uh, the listener drive. Okay, the speaker doesn't have any idea about the kind of the car of the listener. Now, we can ask for description. We can use, we can use 
W H question like what, how, and where, and so on to ask about description. For example, what is X like? Here X something or someone. What is X like? What are your parents like? What are your parents like? We can use how. For example, how is X? I told you that X maybe means something or someone. How is your mother? Okay. Now, sometimes both the question are possible. For example, what? Like, I will tell you what, what does it mean this? Ask for objective information. We can use what? And the sentence in the end there is like and mark a question okay ask for objective information or we can use how ask for more personal reaction for example what was the conference like what was the conference like or how was the conference the first sentence is we ask it about objective information okay and in the second information we ask it about personal reaction personal reaction okay all these information I download it in the Google classroom as PDF but in this video I will share it on uh, YouTube to explain more about this unit okay follow me in the next video thank you for listening